Hey dudes, Rhino Crunch here today. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to get started in the new ARC DLC titled Genesis Part One. Now these tips I learned during a, li a YouTube live stream on a PVP official server, but I think it's important to mention that for the purposes of just this video, I'm doing it in single player mode and you know, I can spawn stuff in, et cetera, et cetera. But I did all of the tips that I'm mentioning in the live stream. You guys can check that out. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the, you know, the first few hours of gameplay. Like I said, it was on an official PVP server. So I think that's important to mention because some YouTube videos, you can't really tell if they're single player or they're on PVE or cause it does definitely make a difference. So just know that no matter what server you're on, you can do these tips and they should help you in your start. So first of all, when you spawn into Genesis map, you're given a selection of which biome, um, either volcanic, the bog, ocean, lunar, Arctic. Arctic is pretty hard to start, um, and as well as volcanic and lunar is impossible. So lunar's more end game uh, content for you once you get established and you start getting that tech gear and the tech items, et cetera, et cetera. So I recommend starting in either the bog or the ocean. The bog can be pretty brutal too. Ocean, whether or not you decide to actually live on the ocean with you know a raft or the new newly added uh, platforms that they added, they added these platforms that you can build a structure basically on the ocean float around, which is kind of cool. Um, so I recommend one of those two biomes. Now, when you first hop into the game, it's important to mention also that you can transfer your high level characters. You don't have to grind your character from level one. You can bring those high level characters onto the server and just start off at whatever level you left off as. So with that being said, you're gonna have this little floating Helena that helps you and she helps you along your missions and she helps you repair these glitches in the map. Now, the biggest thing I can recommend you do immediately is just run around on either, um, either swim around in the ocean or run around on bog and just grab those glitches and get as many hexagons as you can immediately. Now what these hexagons are gonna do is they're gonna allow you to access Helena's store where you trade your hexagons for resources. And it basically eliminates all the early game farming. You get about 5,000 hexagons and you can throw up a pretty decent base, a pretty safe base with you know a forge, a blacksmith, a bed or a smithy, a bed, and the necessities that you need to get started. So that's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna find the glitches, you're gonna get the hexagons, and you're just gonna you're just gonna throw your base down wherever you can. And once you're established there, then you can either start doing some of the missions. Now the missions can be toggled um, in your inventory. You can actually toggle where the mission start points are and then head towards those and then go to the um, go to basically where the mission interface is and start the mission. There's three different levels depending on what level you complete, depend is uh, how many hexagons you'll get as a reward. It's important to mention that you can also transfer off of the server here. So some people who are struggling to get off of the server, they just wanna come back later when they have a higher level character. What they can do is they can toggle a mission in their inventory, find the closest mission access point, go to that mission access point and get off the server. So the biggest tip I can give you though is just don't waste your time farming, don't waste your time getting anything, just go get glitches and then find a spot you like and just throw a base down through the Helena interface. Now once you've thrown your base down in your biome of choice, now things really starting to open up. You can start taming mounts in the biome or you can just simply teleport to other biomes. Helena has this thing where you talk to her and she will transfer you to any biome with all of your gear. And this is kind of cool, I like this because it's, it's balanced because there's a huge, you know, there's this huge bright dome that goes over you. It's not like people can just combat log. It's pretty easy to spot if you get into a PVP fight and then someone tries to get away by teleporting out. So from there, I think it's important to mention that every biome has gear specific items that are required, right? So, you know, like I said, the Arctic's really cold. The ocean, you're gonna want scuba gear. Um, and the, you know, the lunar is just impossible, impossible to survive in. There's just is at least early game. Maybe once you start to get some of the better gear later on, maybe then you can, you know, think about living there. Um, 
so these tips should help you guys get, you know, get your feet on the ground in Genesis. I found some green gems on the bog. I'm still looking for blue gems. If you know where blue gems are, post in the comments because I know that climbing picks work. So if you're coming from Aberration, the DLC, the Arch, you know, the Arc uh, DLC, you'll be able to use climbing picks. Gliders work as well. I haven't got zip lines to work. I think it's either bugged or maybe they're turned off. I know flyers are turned off, but they will be made available. So once you have your base down and you're able to teleport to any biome, that's when the player preference is really going to come into play. Whether you're going to work towards endgame in the Arctic area or the volcanic area or the bog, that's really on you. The next best advice I can give you is to get a mount. One of the easiest mounts to get in this new update is the Bloodstalker. You just need blood packs in your inventory. Let her capture you and she will consume the blood packs out of your inventory and then she will tame. Pretty easy stuff. Um, I think it's also important to mention that there's still a lot unknown about this DLC. There is The maps are a lot bigger than I thought, whether it's really high or whether it's really low. They go down for you know the caves. All the stuff that they've added is pretty crazy, man. So hopefully this stuff has helped you. If it has, make sure to like the video. Also, I live stream ARC a few days a week here on YouTube. So if you're subscribed to the channel, make sure the notifications are on and good luck in Genesis dudes. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace and God bless.